ain't safe to have more than an eight. Niggas a gun in your place, put a gun in your face. Tell you open the safe as y'all stop the race. Cause the robbery could turn into... Those are the words of rapper Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, star of the upcoming semi-autobiographical film Get Rich or Die Tryin', scheduled to be released in theaters tomorrow nationwide. Recently, Paramount Pictures came under heavy fire and criticism from community activists and organizations for glorifying guns in minority communities riddled with murders from gun violence. Sister Heron is with Mothers on the March. It's a whole issue, and the issue is about the imagery uh, of the violence that's being perpetrated against our young men, specifically that this billboard shows a black man with a gun. The imagery indicates he is to be considered armed and dangerous. It doesn't matter that it's a 50-cent movie about his life story. When this goes worldwide and people have no familiarity with Curtis Jackson, they're only going to view the image with the message that is a motto that indicates get rich or die trying. That's a dreadful message that we don't want attached uh, to any more of our sons, our brothers, our fathers. We just don't want the man, the black man associated with the gun. The publicity is irresponsible to our community, and to have the billboard at 78th and Western when Jean Cole, the grandmother killed on the bus stop, caught in the crossfire, was killed not four blocks away from that billboard. That's the problem for us. This is not an attack on Curtis Jackson nor how he was able to reclaim his life. Besides Los Angeles, Paramount Pictures has targeted Compton as a city to advertise the film in. And Compton has been uh, listed as the murder capital of the United States of America. Yes, that's true. And what the insensitivity or the disconnect, I'm going to call it a disconnect, because it's obvious that the people in a power to handle this are so disassociated from it in favor of the money they expect to gain from it, they're not seeing the impact of that imagery on our young people. They're not concerned about it. It's about promoting the movie. They don't care who it harms, and you are absolutely correct about Compton. Compton is under siege right now from this kind of mindset that goes along with gangsterism and thugism that's permeating the minds of our young men. As I've said many times, it seems that there's an element of our community that would rather go to prison than school. Ayuko Babu is the executive director of the Pan-African Film and Arts Festival. Distributors know when they put up a billboard like that, it's going to generate controversy. They had a meeting and they discussed that. So, But they took a position, let's put the billboard up with the, with the gun in the hand and the microphone, and then it's going to generate negative or positive controversy, and that's still going to promote the film. What, I, what we say at the Pan-African Film Festival is that it's very important that people spoke out and said we don't want those billboards up in our neighborhood. That's absolutely important. We have to always bear witness and stand up and say we don't want these things happening. At the same time, you got to support the Pan-African Film Festival or the Black American Film Festival or the African Film Festival in New York because this is where you actually can influence the distribution of films by showing the distributors that there are audiences for interest in much more complicated films, much more sophisticated films, much, much more black diversity in films. Get Rich or Die Trying opens in theaters nationwide tomorrow. Here in Los Angeles, there will be a protest and a teach-in at Magic Johnson's Theaters at 5 p.m. For more information, please call 323-295-4430. For KPFK's Evening News, I'm Jasmine Kanick.